Pugs are such a loving and cheerful dogs with a naturally devoted nature towards their owners. You may be watching this video as you are looking into getting a pug puppy, but as a first time dog owner are a little concerned whether this is the right breed for you. Well, don't worry, in this video I'll be sharing with you whether or not this cute little, pr uh, this cute little pug is a good choice for you as a first dog. Also, if you're here, welcome to Petslow. We made tons of dog educational videos just like this, and it's the content that you don't want to miss. So make sure you hit that red subscribe button. And if this video was even a little bit helpful, make sure you like the video. And without any further ado, let's get into the main topic. Are pugs good for first-time dog owners? The short answer is it depends on uh, what you're looking for in a pet. Personally, pugs are excellent dogs, but these toy dogs are not for everyone. Uh, the breed motto is Meltem in Parvo, uh, meaning a lot of dogs in a small size, a great deal in a, a small compact space, a lot of big surprises in a small packet. I hope you're getting it. Uh, also, pugs are cons considered a little bit stubborn, so you must have some patience and under understanding while training this breed. Uh, if you train them from their puppyhood, they pick up on commands fairly quickly, so make sure you do that. And make sure you have some treats nearby while you're training your uh, pug, because a training without treat cannot happen really. And pugs are among the most gentle and passive of all breeds. They're ideal for families with children. As they're generally patient with children, they will even tolerate the prodding of a child and are not known to nip or bite uh, since the shape of their mouth prevents them from biting efficiently and thus that makes them a breed completely harmless. Uh, if we talk money wise, the pug's uh, maintenance cost is pretty damn low compared to medium and large size dog breeds. Uh, being a small size dog breeds, they eat less, having a short fur, they need less grooming. To understand this more deeply about the cost and monthly expenses of a pug, make sure you click on this pop up to your right where I have explained deeply about everything you need to know about the maintenance of a pug. So make sure you watch that. There are lots of myths that say that pugs don't shed. I mean what? Pugs do shed and in fact they shed a lot. And if your pug has two coats then just be prepared to clean every corner of your house because sorry because those fallen furs can be irritating and uh, uh, there are um, two things that you can do firstly uh, brush your pug's coat on a regular basis secondly uh, bath your pug frequently with a de-shedding shampoo if possible don't miss a day and uh, uh, make sure your pug doesn't eat anything that he's allergic to otherwise that can lead to excessive and heavy shedding uh, so make sure you find out what your pug is allergic to and later you can deal with the problem uh, wild pugs can be pretty friendly and uh, pretty well behaved uh, they sometimes act a little bit <laughs> a little bit mischievous and uh, the, there are things that you can do you can train them properly uh, and once they get properly trained, which is not that complicated, the situation can be controlled. Also, they need regular exercise and mental stimulation uh, to avoid suffering from problems uh, which is related to lack of activity and make sure you uh, don't just let them rest all day, okay? They need exercise and mental stimulation to survive. From my experience, they would stay connected to that one person with whom they spend the most of their time with and uh, in short they are well suited for people who have the time and love to give since the breed thrives on human affection they would expect you to stay by their side no matter what and they would go crazy if you ignore them for even a single second uh, overall pugs are great dogs they're incredibly loving and loyal to their owners they checklist everything that the owner demands and uh, i would say they would make great first dog as your preference and uh, yeah that's my decision thanks for sticking around i hope you liked the video if you did make sure you click that logo to the left and hit that red subscribe button right now also like the video if it was a little bit helpful and down here would be our latest video so make sure you check that out as well and i will take a leave from you see you in the next video Bye bye